Okay friends, so in the previous video I added a modal confirmation when we delete the user. So if I click delete, yeah, we can cancel and we can delete also. And let's do the same in this video for roles and permissions. So let's go in the VS code and I'm going to open first the users user index. And here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the danger button secondary button and the modal so let's copy that and let's open now the role index page and also we need to import here so let's paste them then let's create a constant for show modal confirm the delete modal and also the close and delete we need them and we need to create also the form constant so let's copy all of them and let's come here we need to import also the use form from the inertia use form like this and let's say now show confirm delete not user but we are in the role so let's say a role here and also confirm delete role And now let's copy this and paste it here and here as well. Then delete role also is going to be here and form delete route is going to be roles. This roles destroy. We need to add the ID here. And I think we are good. Now let's uh, come here and scroll down when we have a button and the model let's copy both of them and let's paste it on the role index so here we have a link instead of this link let's paste this one and uh, where we have the delete user we need to say a delete user but also select all the user so we have this this one here this one here this one and let's say uh, a role with capital a role like this and we need to pass here also the role id and i think we are okay now let's save and let's see if it's going to work or not on the browser and uh, I think we have an error. Let's inspect the elements, go to the console, and the ref is not defined. Here, yeah, we need to import the ref from view, so I'm going to import it right here. Import ref from view, and now refresh. Yeah, everything okay. Now if I click delete, are you sure you want to delete this role? Let's say cancel. Oh, good. Now if I delete and this is with ID6, let's say delete. Yeah, deleted. Let's delete this with ID3. And of course, now let's do the same for the uh, permissions. So we need to import modal danger button and secondary button so let's copy them and let's open the permission index and paste it them here then let's come here also we need to import the ref from view and let's do the same here then we need to create constant for form show confirmation and so on so let's paste also here just we need to change something let's import the use form and then instead of road select the road here when we have road and replace with permission like this 
the route is going to be permissions destroy good and then let's come and navigate down when you have a model and copy also the button and come here and replace that link we have to delete with the button and the model here also we need to change the role so let's select all the roles and say permission and we need also to add the permission ID here like this and let's save and let's navigate now on the permissions let's say delete let's say cancel so we have the D3 and let's delete this and delete it and if I inspect the element go to the console delete cancel delete let's delete that everything okay good so that's it about this video friends I hope you enjoy and see you the next one all the best thank you very much